Four women are sharing their stories after police arrested their former co-worker for allegedly taking lewd videos of them at work without their knowledge. Golden police say Chun Min Chang had 13,000 videos secretly recorded under women's desks and in restrooms, many while they were at work. He was arrested and is facing multiple charges, including stalking, invasion of privacy, and posting private images for harassment. The women say they were forced out of their jobs with the Colorado Mountain Club after they spoke up about not feeling safe returning back to work, something the nonprofit denies. They also told us, they told our Mark Salinger that the club enabled their co-workers' behavior, behavior he's been convicted of before, Mark. Yeah, guys, the women say they didn't find out about the secret pictures and videos taken of them at work until they spoke with investigators earlier this year. A complaint filed today alleges the hidden cameras were placed under desks inside rest restrooms and even in one woman's house by a man who used to work for the Colorado Mountain Club. The conversations aren't easy, but these women wanted to share their stories. There are good days and bad days. Um, today is not a good day. <laughs> he filmed me completely naked in the bathroom, changing into my swimsuit to go on a company outing. The images that I could identify of myself were taken in the women's restroom. That image that I identified was of a, of a woman's um, private parts. These four women are former employees at the Colorado Mountain Club in Golden. We've agreed not to use some of their names because they are victims of sexual exploitation. Brittany Smith and Mary Jane Jarvis wanted us to share their names. They all say they were victims of Chun Min Chang, a former Colorado Mountain Club employee now facing charges, including stalking and posting private images for harassment. Police say they found him with 13,000 lewd videos of women, some taken while at work. Brittany says a hidden camera was found under her desk, disguised as a phone charger. How does that make you feel? Um, extremely violated. So to know that a place that felt like home was violated is, um, devastating and heartbreaking. Police got involved after Chan posted a link to a porn site on the club's Instagram account in September of 2020. Golden police say Chan hacked into the Instagram account and posted the video of a woman at her home, taken without her knowledge. In a statement, Colorado Mountain Club says Chan was let go in November 2019 after a different investigation into his conduct. This former employee says she didn't find out Chan took pictures of her in the bathroom at work until she was asked to identify herself in the photos by Golden Police earlier this year, months after her employer learned of the investigation. It was only after I spoke with the detectives and spoke with some of my other colleagues that I learned all of this stuff that had been going on w without my knowledge. And Others still worry there are pictures they don't know about. Yeah, I have nightmares about it a lot, that they're going to find a file eventually. and. <laughs> I don't know. I, for some reason, it's just been really hard to not see them. Um, Colorado Mountain Club describes itself as the state's leading organization dedicated to adventure, recreation, conservation, and education. It organizes treks, summer camps, and prints guides to the outdoors. In a statement released to Nine News, the club says it is appalled and disgusted by Chang's actions. Tuesday, a complaint was filed with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission and the Colorado Civil Rights Division, alleging the organization didn't do enough to keep victims of sexual harassment and exploitation safe. Attorney Paula Dreesen filed the complaint on behalf of eight clients. With 13, over 13,000 videos, I think it's reasonable to say that there are a multitude of victims out there. And it's not the first time Chan has been accused of doing something like this. He registered as a sex offender in April of 2006 after he was convicted of sexual assault for taking inappropriate pictures of women without their knowledge. That's according to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. He was hired by the Mountain Club to work in HR and IT following the conviction and worked there for more than a decade. The Colorado Mountain Club tells Nine News it conducts background checks on all employees and that Chan may have falsified his background to a state agency. This is a horrific instance of complete and utter failure by leadership and management at the Colorado Mountain Club to properly screen their employees and make sure that sexual predators aren't allowed to run free 
in the workplace. The women say Chan was enabled by leadership at the club. After the pictures and videos were revealed, the women asked to take time off to come to terms with what had happened. They say they asked the club to make safety improvements in the workplace, like sweeping their homes and laptops to make sure Chan no longer had access. They say that never happened. They didn't feel safe returning and were pushed out of their jobs. When CMC didn't take any actions really to keep us safe or to make us feel better about going back to work, it kind of felt like that community deserted us. They made every effort to make sure there was no noise about this. So the most powerful thing I think you can do is to live in your truth and to understand that we are here to tell the truth and we are asking them to take that seriously. The Colorado Mountain Club responded to the allegations, saying it has provided support to former and current employees after the allegations came forward. It says it provided current and former employees access to new laptops and personal digital security services, though the women I spoke with in that story say that no one has ever reached out to them to offer that. The club says it learned of Chan using cameras when police began investigating in September of 2020. That investigation is ongoing by the district attorney's office, and you can read the full statement from the club on our website. Incredible courage, Mark, by those women to come forward to talk about what happened and to be willing to put a name and a, and a face to the, to the crime. And it wasn't easy to do that. It was a, it was a hard conversation to have for, for them as, uh, as well as, uh, you know, to listen to that. But they said that they wanted to make sure to share their stories in hopes that somebody else who's out there who may have experienced something else feels empowered. All right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.